country today, thousands rallied against gun violence, including here in Chicago. It was part of the student-led March for Our Lives movement. Eric Rung has more from Federal Plaza. Several hundred people packing into Federal Plaza for the rally this afternoon. Many who came here were angry, but also expressed hope that this time things would be different. They came to Federal Plaza this afternoon with strong feelings and their opinions proudly displayed on posters and t-shirts. And gun violence now! There was chanting and cheering when speakers touched on the overwhelming hope that many brought here. We want safe communities and schools that aren't under the constant threat of gun violence. The deadly shooting at a Buffalo, New York grocery store, as well as the deadly school shooting in Uvalde, Texas, were just two recent mass shootings that brought many downtown to Chicago's March for Your Lives rally. But this isn't the first time many have rallied to demand change. I'm angry. A change in federal gun laws. Enough! and changing who is elected to federal office if they refuse to consider any gun control legislation. I don't care if you're Democrat or Republican, we need to hold all our elected officials accountable. That means they are organizing to get people registered to vote, knock on doors and get out the vote. And many doing the hard work are teenagers like Peyton Aarons. Nothing's going to be done today, but with today's energy, we can capitalize on that and get things done in the very near future. The 17 year old is a soon to be senior at Naperville North. He's been involved with the March for Your Lives organization for the past four years. As a student, everyone has been directly impacted, whether it's by, you know, locked down drills at your schools or just the overall fear like it's something that I can genuinely tell you students think about constantly which no matter where you are on the gun debate chances are you could agree that is something no student should have to think about the young people in this country should not have to be organizing these rallies period while organizers were happy with today's turnout they say they will measure the success of the rally by how many people actually take the next step in moving this message and movement forward. At Federal Plaza, I'm Eric Rung, WGN News. Thousands gathered at the National Mall for March for Our Lives in Washington, D.C. Similar to the rally here in Chicago, speakers expressed anger and frustration calling on lawmakers to act now. This isn't about politics. It's about morality. Not right and left but right and wrong. If our government can't do anything to stop 19 kids from being killed and slaughtered in their own school and decapitated, it's time to change who is in government. This was started in 2018 by survivors of the high school shooting in Parkland, Florida. Hundreds of marches took place across the U.S. today. There were also marches in five European cities. President Biden was asked if he had a message for those involved in the anti-gun violence rallies across the country. The president encouraged the demonstrators to keep fighting. Keep marching. It's important. Look, this has to become an election issue. The way people listen, senators, congressmen, when people say, I'm going to just affect my vote. 